Well, well, if it isn't the great and powerful Trixie finding common ground with Starlight Glimmer. Seriously, this is a fantastic setup for a story. Two characters who have a lot to prove given their rocky past, with Twilight Sparkle caught in the middle of the conflict and with good reason. I have to wonder whether the writers might have already had this story in mind when they were creating the character of Starlight Glimmer in the first place. Still, whatever first brought this idea to life, I have to give credit for the great writing as well as a great execution. The story begins with Twilight encouraging Starlight to make a new friend all on her own. And while some of us might have thought she'd have difficulty due to her rocky past, it actually has far more to do with spending so much of her life using magic to get whatever she wants and not really picking up on a lot of social skills along the way. I don't know why, but that scene where Big Mac suddenly had an articulate speaking voice that he couldn't stop using was hysterical. And let's not forget Rainbow's face when Starlight mentions she has no idea who the Wonderbolts are. Seriously, so much of the comedy in this episode really hits the mark. Even Trixie's reveal isn't quite so direct either. If you hadn't seen any of the teasers leading up to this, you might not have picked up on who she was right off the bat. And I have to say, this is perhaps the best portrayal of Trixie I've seen in the entire series. She hasn't had a major appearance in the show since season 3, at least outside of the Equestria Girls films. But the shared elements in her past, as well as those in Starlight's past, really brought out a great dynamic between both characters. I don't know whether they'll be bringing Trixie back anytime soon, but I very much enjoyed her inclusion here. And what makes this conflict even better is that none of these characters were entirely in the wrong or entirely in the right. While Twilight did have Starlight's well-being in mind, she still made mistakes trying to find a friend on Starlight's behalf and not trusting her to make her own decisions. While Trixie was making a genuine effort to redeem herself in the eyes of Ponyville, she still allowed her pride to override the best chance she had to start over. Even Starlight, who was striving to do the best she could with what she had, who helped Twilight realize why she was going too far, still neglected the dinner without even telling anyone along the way. This is what makes a great conflict, since you can easily understand and even relate to everyone's decisions along the way. So much of this story really drew me in and kept me entertained. Although, there is one moment that actually gets a little dark for this show the more you think about it. After Trixie realized her mistake, she still gets on stage and goes on with the performance. She knows very well that she can't do this trick on her own, and what will happen without Starlight's help. Yet she's so depressed from losing her only genuine friend in who knows how long, and only after she gets into the canon does she show even the slightest hesitation hoping that Starlight might still be around to help her out. The cannon fires, we see her I regret everything face, and thankfully Starlight showed up at just the right time. Let me remind everyone here, this scene was not played up for comedy. These feelings were all genuine. Think about that for a while. Yeah. Still, I can't help but find a lot to love about this episode as a whole. Though, I suppose if I had one little nitpick, I wish that Trixie's dialogue when she was proclaiming her motivations wasn't so blatantly direct. It was basically, are you self-centered? Yup, just checking. I know, I know, Trixie has a lot of pride and doesn't always think things through in the moment, but I still think the dialogue could have been a little more clever here. In the end, though, this really is just a nitpick and doesn't detract from an otherwise fantastic entry in the series. The comedy was on par, the characters were engaging, the conflict set up and execution were brilliant, and they even managed to squeeze in some fan-favorite characters without taking anything away from the story. That final scene with Celestia was a superb way to end the episode with a laugh while also presenting a very fair question that I'm sure is going to get a lot of minds pondering. Glad to see the MLP staff are still exceeding my expectations here and there. But now I would like to hear from each of you. What did you think about Trixie's inclusion to Starlight's story arc? Do you think that having Twilight as both a teacher and a student to Starlight is a good fit overall? 
What was your favorite standout moment for comedy? How do you think Celestia can get her hair to do that all the time? I would like to hear your thoughts on No Second Prances, and here's looking forward to the next Starlight-focused episode in Season 6. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.